1948 Ford F5 cab over. The whole bed is a sealed air tank with your uh, intake and exhaust stacks there. Two Stroker YouTube channel. Today we're doing some bonus footage out in Coonley. There was a lot of really cool Detroit swaps there, uh, three to be exact. Uh, and I'm gonna show them to you in this video, along with some other footage. But real quick, I wanted to make mention on our website, oldtwostroker.com, you can get yourself a bunch of different merch. But we're having a promotion on all the Fat Cab merch. Uh, to help Jason the race program come back stronger than ever in 2025. So what we're going to do is any fat cab hoodie or t-shirt that you purchase is going to come with a free liner koozie and a free old two stroker sticker. That's like 10 bucks in value, guys. Uh, or what I'll do is use code fat cab and get... 5% off your order. How about that? Gotta include Fat Cab merch in order to get the discount. Back to the video. This thing is a treat. 453T, stock turbo, got a little bit turned up injectors. I love this air compressor. Check out this air compressor he's got. External valve. Just, truck is cooler than a three-speed fan. Y'all build it yourselves, right? Yes, sir. This is Nick? Yep. What's your last name, Nick? Schaub. Schaub? Yep, with uh, SLS Fabrication. This is a uh, 1948 Ford F5 cab over, which started off as a C70. Partially, it's where the 453 Detroit came from. And we used the C70 frame and a uh, Ford F450 cabin chassis frame, spliced them together and started building from there. I'll tell you what, you did a great job on it. Thank you. Four wheel drive works, right? Yep. And yep. it's what got what for a transmission? RTO 610. What a treat. I love your tire package. It's super well built, built guys. Now this whole bed is your air tank, right? Yes, All sir. All the tubing? Yep. The whole bed is a sealed air tank with your uh, intake and exhaust stacks there. Look at the lights, fellas. Oh, I love it, dude. So cool. Winch work? Yep. Winch would have came off of like a uh, 40s model white truck. Oh, wow. So. Oh, look at the lever. Yeah, that, that winch is uh, probably the oldest piece on the whole. Oh, oh that's yeah. cool. It looks super functional. Interior is immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. Brake reservoirs. Your center console looks like a nice piece also. Yeah, that's, uh, com that was completely custom there. Look at all the levers into it. What did you twin stick the transfer case? Yes, sir. Yeah. That is a old old school chain and binder handle there for your uh, shifters for the transfer case. Yeah, I was wondering that. 
Very cool. And you got what you said, 410 gears you got? Yep. I bet they get down the road real nice with them 37s. It, it'll get to about 74, 75, anything more than that, you're, you're pushing it. <laughs> what, are, what kind of RPMs does it turn at that? About 2,000. Oh, jeez. You got plenty to go. Yeah, it, it, it'll do a little more, but I, I just don't feel comfortable. Oh, it'll be fine. You're up there and you're driving it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It does handle very well going down at that speed. I mean, bumps and whatnot, you really don't feel them. It handles like a cabin chassis truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's got the look, I'll tell you what. It has got the look. Oh, yeah. Idle's just right. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. I'm gonna put down my purse. Yeah. We gotta get you a Jake break. I know. Are you will it fit under the cowl? You need another two I, inches. I think I need a little bit more. But with the way this cowl is, I'm sure we can maybe come up with some kind of way to keep it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's tight in here. Yeah, it is small. <laughs> People weren't that big back then. No, dude. <laughs> My fat ass is rammed yeah. into this thing. It's comfy though. It just oh, yeah, is the comfortable. Great. You guys did a hell of a job on this thing. Thank you. I appreciate you taking me for a rip. Oh, of course. Let's 
also missed the Renovitz truck. He put this together 40 years ago. Farm truck, farm truck, uh, truck for farm. Chrome canister. Okay. Yes, please. 453T. Clutch Reservoir. This is a twin stick truck. I've known Dan for years. And this old boy, let me tell you what, is an absolute legend. Just a good guy. If you've never met Dan Renovitz, do yourself a favor and get in touch with him. He is just a wonderful human being. Dan and I have been friends for a long, long time. He helped me get my start in the two-stroke game. Just a fountain of knowledge. I won't take it, I promise. Oh, well, I might actually. <laughs> this thing is great, dude. Thank you. Try it again. Pretty cool. Did you build it? Yep. I love it. What do you got for injectors? Leaky ass and 55, so I need to go bigger. Yeah. Well, I don't want to spend a whole lot of money, but it's just a place to it. Yeah. I thought it said an M70 for something to take the pole off. The one, I don't know if it's time wrong or what, but it's like an ungoverned fuel when that one was put on the rack. Oh, no shit. Mike there, Doug's Auto Service, was kind enough to bring us 
this absolute treat. John sold it to me out in Missouri, or Montana. It's a 60 inch Mercury sleeper. Gonna go on number 29. Boy, is it a treat. Actually, super nice inside. I mean, we're gonna redo it anyway, but it smells good in there. There's no evidence of mice. Not until it gets to my property anyway, but super clean old unit. Windows even still work. Got a set of keys with it and a Montana plate. In super nice shape. I'm really, really not mad at it. A couple dings and dents here and there. But for some, something of this vintage. It's really pretty trick. So thanks to Mike for bringing it all the way out. We sold him our Duramax that was supposed to go in the Cadillac. So we did the old swap -roo. Jason brought his Baker. What a treat. That thing's the MVP today. Oh yeah. We're gonna show up with a bunch of trucks from the 50s with a forklift that was new. Yeah, I mean, you can't, everything. It's not in the 50s, Jason doesn't want it. All right, fellas, thanks for watching. Surely appreciate it. Uh, huge shout out to the patrons. You guys keep me afloat every week. I sure appreciate that. And um, yeah, remember, uh, old2stroker.com. Pop on over there and get yourself a uh, Fat Cab hoodie or t shirt. And as long as you're buying Fat Cab merch, put in code Fat Cab at checkout and you will get 5% off your order. Um, or off your entire order, regardless of whatever else you decide you want to have. But you got to be buying Fat Cab merch for that code to work. We're, uh, no code at all. Uh, just buy Fat Cab hoodie or t-shirt, and I'll throw in a koozie and a small sticker. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.